time in news around the world, North Korea today firing more missiles, including their most powerful intercontinental ballistic missile. It comes just a day after the country set a record for most launches in a 24-hour period. And today, Secretary of Defense Lloyd Austin meeting with South Korea's defense minister. Correspondent Evan Lambert is live for us in Washington with the very latest on this, Evan. Nicole, a South Korean news agency is reporting the intercontinental ballistic missile test failed. That has not been confirmed by U.S. or South Korean defense officials. But this is a major escalation, prompting both the U.S. and South Korea to threaten to end the Kim regime if North Korea were to use nuclear weapons. On the peninsula, we're returning to large-scale exercises to strengthen our combined readiness and our ability to fight tonight if necessary. Secretary of Defense Lloyd Austin saying the U.S. and South Korea are prepared as the two countries extend joint air training exercises in the region. The countries have upped drills as North Korea has increased weapons tests. The drills involving 240 aircraft will go at least into the weekend in response to new provocations from North Korea. The most severe, the test launch of an intercontinental ballistic missile on Thursday. It prompted emergency warnings for Japan. Testing an intercontinental ballistic missile, a number of short-range ballistic missiles, uh, firing artillery uh, into, uh, in, into the ocean. Uh, and, and so all of this uh, activity is uh, potentially destabilizing. So what is an ICBM? It's a missile powered initially by rocket, which can be equipped with a nuclear or conventional warhead. Long range with a minimum distance of more than 3,400 miles. But they can fly much further than that range. North Korea is believed to have the ability to reach the U.S. territory of Guam. The tensions spiked Wednesday after North Korea fired a record 23 missiles in one day. For the first time, one landed off the coast of South Korea. In a news conference with his South Korean counterpart, Austin says he believes the way the U.S. is responding to the missile tests is enough to deter North Korea from going nuclear. And we're also committed to deterring uh, anyone from using a nuclear device. And yes, I do believe uh, we've been effective in that. The two countries using even stronger language in a note sent out earlier Thursday, sending the message to North Korea that, quote, any nuclear attack against the United States or its allies and partners, including the use of non-strategic nuclear weapons, is unacceptable and will result in the end of the Kim regime. And neither the U.S. nor South Korea have said how long their military exercises will last. But Pyongyang has called the drills, quote, an awful mistake. Nicole. All right, Evan, thank you. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.